Inside this box are cards graded by PSA, but I can't remember what they are. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic PSA return video, but the problem is I can't remember what I submitted. This wasn't even that long ago. I sent it regular service. It came back in like a couple of weeks, and I legitimately can't remember the five cards I sent. But before we open that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Relinquish from Spell Ruler. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite cards from the return or one you want to see in the future. Let's go ahead and crack this safe of a box open. But first, let's see what grades I predicted for the card. Let's check out our five cards we'll be submitting. So we have a Grand Neos Ultimate Rare. This is unlimited, but it was in very, very good condition, which was why I was like, okay, let's maybe submit this. Back looks pretty good. It doesn't have much going on with the ulti stamp. It has a little bit, but usually it's a lot worse. So the corners look pretty nice on it. The back centering is pretty decent. There's a little dot right there. The front centering is slightly off, but not too bad. The corners look pretty decent. They're not perfect. I think centering is its main issue, so we're between a 9 and a 10 on this guy. I'm going to predict a PSA 9 on this guy because of the centering, but I do think there's an outside shot at the 10, which is why we're going to send it in. So pretty cool card there. Let's go to the next one. Then we have a Toon Mermaid MRL First Edition. Let's see what this can get. So the centering looks pretty good on this. Top corners look pretty decent. Bottom corner looks decent. And yeah, overall, pretty nice card on the front. Looks pretty good. Back is... Nice on the surface. Top left corner looks nice. What is that? Can't tell what that is. Is that damage? Top right corner. We've got a bottom right corner and then bottom left. All looks pretty good. So the only real thing I can see are these two little dots up here, which I'm not sure what those are. So this is going to be an interesting one. I think it does have the chance at a 10. I don't know if those dots are going to matter or not. I could see this being a 10. Honestly, I'm feeling a little pessimistic today. I'm going with a nine on this, but I think it can get a 10. So we'll see what this comes back as. For our third card, we have a Mystical Space Typhoon. There's a couple other cards I was going to submit, and it turns out they were not up to snuff in terms of what to grade. So this top right corner looks nice, or left, right. I can't tell my directions, apparently. Bottom right and bottom left all look pretty good. The surface looks super clean. Centering looks pretty nice on this guy. Maybe a little whitening right there, if you guys can see that. Back looks pretty, ooh, really clean. Okay, corner looks good. Corner looks good. Corner looks good and the corner looks good okay very nice so it looks like this card honestly i think that this is psa 10 potential there's not much going on with it i'm going to predict psa 10 on this mystical space typhoon first edition our fourth card actually our sixth total but you guys may have not seen the other two because they were not ready so this is a millennium shield my favorite card by the way i already have a psa 10 of this but it's always fun to grade more so the top left is cool top right is pretty good a little bit of whitening bottom right and bottom left those are all pretty decent card looks pretty decent on the front so a little bit of whitening on the edge right there that's about it back looks pretty good maybe a little bit of scuffing on it on this left side if i could see it kind of lost it a little bit but yeah there it is so a little bit of scratching there if you guys can see that but overall a pretty nice card i think uh bottom left maybe is tiny bit of whitening overall this is a pretty nice card this is definitely borderline 910 because of the scratching and the whitening i think it could knock it down but i also could see this sneaking by and getting the 10 and it's not a bad 10 overall anyway because like if it's only a little whitening and a couple scratches that's not too bad i'm gonna go with a psa 9 but i think it could get a 10 and our final card we have a blue eyes white dragon this is a lob reprint so the top left corner looks good top right corner good centering is a little bit off bottom right corner nice and bottom left so centering is not perfect but it's also not that bad thing about these reprints is they're always very shiny on the edges like if there's any sort of whitening at all you can really see it uh the back surface is pretty good there's some like little speckles but that seems to come pretty often on these reprints back corners look good okay everything looks pretty good so this card is pretty nice let's check the surface there's sometimes some scratches in here on these reprints i'm not seeing too much though it looks pretty pretty decent from what i can see i think this does have a chance i think it was the best of the reprint blue eyes that i had but just because it's a reprint they're pretty hard to grade they often can find something wrong with it i'm feeling pessimistic today i'm going with nine out of ten hopefully we are not right this time and we don't go five for five on our predictions because we predicted four nines and one ten but i could see us getting a lot of tens because i think these are really nice cards and i'm only submitting cards that i think have a chance at a psa 10 so let's see what they got all right now that you guys have been reminded what i subbed and i have no idea let's go ahead and crack into the actual sub sub box now let's see what we got in our five cards all right i was taking all the cards out of the sleeves and i accidentally spoiled what this was and it is shocking not gonna lie it was not one that i was expecting so let's check this card out and see if we can figure out why it got you know obviously didn't get a good grade if it's shocking but let's just go ahead and look at it 
An excellent to near mints, or an excellent to mint, whatever they call it. Six on my PSA Millennium Shield. Okay, uh, and I, now I remember submitting this. A six. So did we miss a bend? That is what we're looking for. A bend or a dent or something like that. In the pre-grade, I remember it being... I, mean, I, th I think we thought it had a chance at a 10, right? Nine or 10? We got an excellent to near mints or a, to mint. I always forget that doesn't make any sense. It's just the weirdest thing ever. Excellent to mint six. So there must be some kind of dent. Maybe it's right there. You guys see that? Maybe that's a dent. That has to be it. That's the only thing that would make sense. If you guys remember when we had that blue eyes toon dragon that got a six, let's see. That's what it was. It was it was a dent that was kind of hard to see. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, but a six. That's a great start. Okay, it was actually in the middle, so it wasn't technically a start. I just accidentally saw it. Maybe we're just getting that one out of the way. Maybe there's better to come, guys. Definitely a slow start to our return. Here's a mystical space typhoon. So let's check this one out on the back. So we have very nice corner there. Very nice corner there. Corner is a little bit less nice, that one, but still not too bad. If you guys see it, maybe a little bit of whitening there. Uh, that one looks pretty good. Surface looks pretty good. Let's look for any dents. Okay, this one looks super, super clean. Crispy. Very nice. Okay, mystical space typhoon. <laughs> mystical space typhoon. There we go. Very nice. Corners look good. Centering is not completely perfect, but it's pretty good. That corner looks good. That corner looks pretty good. That's the sleeve behind it, if you're wondering what that little thing is. Okay, uh, surface looks very clean. So did we get a 9 or a 10 at least, I would think, right? Unless there's some weird dent. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. That's very pretty. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there it is. So we got a 6 and we got a 10. So that's not too bad. I think the last sale, this card was like super low. So I don't know if that was an outlier. I think it was like around 500. And then one sold for like 300 and something. So that was like extremely cheap. Either way, we'll take that MST PSA 10. Beautiful Magic Ruler first edition card. Okay, so we got a 6 and a 10. We'll take it. So we got to have our 6 pile way over here. All right, <laughs> we got to go like that. Okay, let's see what else we can get. The next card, let's see. Corners look nice. I don't remember what I subbed at all, guys. You guys already saw it. I don't, but uh, it's not ringing a bell like seeing these cards. I think I had a, maybe another Magic Ruler card in here. Uh, what was it? I don't remember. We got to submit that Serpent Knight we pulled the other day, though. If you guys missed that video, go check it out. That was pretty awesome. Let's cover this up. A uh, Toon Mermaid. That's what it was. Yeah, here's the other MRL card. I think I replaced something with this. It was like I thought I was getting grade one card, and then it turned out to be a little bit worse than I thought. Service looks absolutely amazing. Toon Mermaid looks really good. How's the centering? Centering looks pretty good on this Toon Mermaid. Centering on the back looks pretty good do you guys think we got back-to-back -back magic ruler tens let's see oh a nine. Oh man i thought this was it is the centering top to bottom not perfect it's not perfect but i don't think that's why maybe it had some scratching on it i don't know so that's a little bit of a bummer but it's better than a six we'll take that i may have actually predicted that nine and you know i can't even remember what i submitted so i don't remember what i predicted either okay very good i know i didn't predict a six on the millennium shield though i know that for sure even though i did predict it on the toon dragon that one time because we found the dent but uh millennium shield was not valuable enough to actually have kept submitting that oh no Oh, no, I forgot. I submitted a reprint. Oh, no, guys. If you guys saw the huge 280 card return, you saw what happened to the reprints. It was not good. We got sevens or eights on every single card. Actually, no, I think we got a couple, like two nines out of like 20 cards. So I don't feel good about this one, guys. Let's see if we can find any print lines or scratching in there. That's just the claw mark thing going crazy. Uh, is there anything that we missed ah oh, it was pretty good the centering's pretty good i, pre I my prediction is going to be way off because this is going to get like a seven or an eight oh, i'm so worried about this what do you guys think do you guys think that we can break the seven eight street get a nine at least let's see <sighs> like just just take my advice just don't grate these it's not worth it they're, they're never in i guess good enough condition i know they do have some scratching on the foil usually but i didn't think it, like i can't even find it right now you know it's just it's kind of like hides in that foil so it's really tough to figure it out and a not too shocking to be honest after that 280 card return i'm kind of expecting bad grades on the reprints final card i didn't grade another reprint thankfully i was thinking about what i was going to sub for the next sub and i saw reprints and i was like nope never again i will not submit those <laughs> not worth it because they're already less in value because they're reprints and then they're just impossible to grade oh this looks like this kind of has that uh back texture of like a mid 5ds card or something like that what what would i have submitted i mean I, that's not a ghost rare i don't think what is this let's see oh it is it is an ultimate it's not it's not a uh not a 5ds card though this is a grand neos ultimate rare unlimited 
Very cool. The centering, I don't think it was perfect on this guy. Yeah, it was definitely not very good. So we're really hoping for like a nine, but with this back like rippling that it kind of does at ultimate sometimes, sometimes they really hammer down on that. So I don't really know. Corners look pretty good on this guy. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Will this get a decent grade? You know, so so far we've got a six, an eight, a nine, and a 10. So we're, we're all over the place. We just need a seven. I wouldn't even be shocked if it got a seven because of the rippling. Let's see. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> a gem mint 10. I was just writing this off as a nine because of the centering. If you look at it, the centering is not great. I mean, we'd have to measure it to see if it gets 60, 40, but it seems like usually 60, 40 doesn't even apply these days, but maybe it does because this thing got a 10. They did not take off for this, which I don't think they should. So I think that's totally okay because this is just literally how the card's printed. But sometimes you'll send one in and they'll get like a five because they think it's like damage or something. But I, I personally was expecting a nine, but we're not going to complain about a 10. The centering is really not that bad now that I look at it, but it is definitely not like 50, 50 for sure it's it's a little bit off we're taking that we'll take another 10 so this was a weird return six eight nine two tens we're taking anything with two out of five tens though so that's not too bad if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content shout out to tcg trust regards tone flow show tomatoes you stanley mike nance maybe get go daxter emus you junior barding and show jt show and david fj thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace